Yo, what's good everybody, it's the Green Onion. I decided to take a break today from doing my custom over here, this little diorama of the rusty Nissan Junior Matchbox truck. I kind of decided just to make a little diorama out of it, using one of those bases from an M2 car. So I think it's turned out pretty good so far. Not done yet, but it's moving along. So decided to take a break from that and do some Hot Wheels hunting at Target and Walmart. And man, I found some actual pretty good stuff. Some P and N case finds, so let's go through them. First off, we got the black version of the 52 Chevy truck. Black and red, awesome. Black and red is one of my favorite color combos. Next up, we got the green Volkswagen T2 pickup truck. Also nice, I like this color better than the blue. This is from an N case. I believe that truck is from a P case. All right, oh, dropping cars. Looks like we got Fandango, which is the Rook. This is the white version. I have the black version. Now we have the opposite version. All right. Next in the bag is the Dodge Ram 1500 in orange. This was re released. Three times this year, once as a red edition, once as just in red, and now we get this cool Halloween looking orange one. Nice job, Hot Wheels. Here's one of my favorites, 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. This came from an N case, awesome truck. I've been looking for this for a while, finally found one in the wild. This thing is a beast of an off-road vehicle and a nice color to boot. Awesome new casting by Hot Wheels. And we got one of the Target Red Editions, which is Time a Taxi. Plenty of these left on the pegs. I grabbed one to open and one to keep on card. This is number 11 of 12 of the Red Editions. And with this Target run, I actually successfully managed to finish off my Red Edition set for this year. So I got all 12 of the Target Red Editions as of now. Here's another one of the red editions. This is the 32 Ford. This is number 10 of 12. This is a pretty good car to pick for the red edition. I like the deco on it. I like how it's white with the red flames. That's pretty cool. And red wheels and red base. Awesome. Pretty good set of red editions. I'll do a review of the whole set of those later. And here's another one just to keep on card. And then the other red edition, number 12 of 12, is the white version of the Mercedes AMG GT, but I decided not to pick that up because I already have three of them. So, the Porsche Panamera in the police deco. We got the 55 Chevy in this nice gray color. Debuted in the A case in yellow and is finally coming back in the P case near the end of the year. It's almost a full year before recolor is released with this one, but it's a nice recolor. I like it's a kind of a off color, I guess. It's gray, light gray with red flames, but I think it works. It pulled it off. Next up, we got the black and yellow 2017 Camaro ZL1. Nice. Don't have that super of the green version. Then we got a couple of Fast and Furious cars that I needed. First off, we got the 2009 Nissan GTR in gray. Awesome casting, rear light tampos, and the plastic front headlights. Finally found one of those on the pegs, as well as the orange Lamborghini Murcielago. So that completes my six car Fast and the Furious set for this year. We got the Honda S2000, the 1970 Chevelle SS in gray, the Ford GT40 in blue, the black version of the Nissan Skyline, the 2009 Nissan GTR, which I have here, and the Lamborghini Murcielago. So only six cars this time around, instead of, I think there were 10 last time, but still pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's one of my favorites of the day, the green version of the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Yes, look at this beautiful color. I don't know why, I'm a sucker for green. I really like this, this is a nice, Nice, uh, nice color of this, and I really love the casting too. 934 Turbo RSR. That is a pretty cool Hot Wheels casting. 
Getting down to the end of the bag here. Second to last car, we got the TV series Batmobile with the blue accents this time. It was in red. Now it is in blue. One of the few Batman cars I'll actually pick up, I guess. That and the Arkham Knight Batmobile, because I played that game. I enjoyed that game, so I'm going to pick up the Arkham Knight Batmobile. Next up, we got, or finally, we got the orange version of the Bone Shaker. This is not an Ultimate Chase or anything, but they did re-release the Bone Shaker in orange for this year. And they even added this little thing here. It says 50th Hot Wheels with special wheels. I don't think any of the other 50th anniversary uh, cards had that on it. Except for this one, at least. Maybe the orange versions of the cars have this on it. Maybe Hot Wheels kind of added that as an afterthought. I don't know. But here is the Bone Shaker. Funny enough, the color is actually reversed here. See, now the body is orange and the base is blue. On the uh, original color of the Bone Shaker, the base was orange and the body was blue. So they just kind of reversed the colors. But yeah, in like a burnt orange color. Pretty nice version of the Bone Shaker. Still on the lookout for that ultimate super chase one but here's a little overview of my p and n case haul from target and walmart so yeah i guess these are hitting stores pretty soon oh, only target though walmart not really i only found the fast and furious cars at walmart here these two but yeah the n and p case are hitting targets now with these red editions in it so 32 ford time of taxi and the mercedes amg gt are the cards you're going to be looking out for so until next time, this is the Green Onion, and I'll see you guys later.